Hello everyone, this is Chris, and today I want to show you the 3D dice roller in App.Roll20. Um, <clears throat> now, if you don't already know, you can use this tool to basically run any of your RPG games, whether it's Pathfinder or whatever. And uh, normally you would just go down in the chat and you would type something like Roll 1D20 plus your bonus. And then, you know, it would, it would automatically generate um, the score or the number that you would roll normally, including the bonus. Uh, but that doesn't actually show stuff on screen, and this is the default. So what you actually have to do is you have to go into the settings menu, my settings, and uh, I believe you do this individually for each player and the DM, not the DM does it for everybody. But you click enable 3D dice here, and now when we go ahead and type, uh, let's say roll 1D20, it's actually going to show it on screen. Um, now you'll notice that it's also red, and that's color coded with um, myself as a player slash DM inside of the game. So if I was to change that to say uh, brown, I believe that should change it to a brown D20. Okay, one second here. Sometimes it does take a little bit for it to trigger. Okay, that, that color wasn't different enough to notice too much. Let's try something very, very different. And uh, instead of doing a D20, let's try a uh, 5D6. Like if you were doing a fireball and uh, D and D or Pathfinder or something, that's uh, very um, staple to the game. So you see, we got we got light blue dice. It rolled all five simultaneously. It might take a little bit of time for it to trigger, but it's very cool. It's a nice way of visually representing everything, and uh, the fact that you can kind of have it rolling on your game map, which is kind of your table effectively. It's really cool. It makes it feel a little bit more like you're playing uh, um, like an actual tabletop game. Well, you are playing an actual tabletop game, but as if you were playing on a tabletop if you're not already. Um, if you are instead playing with uh, uh, people online. Um, then yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool addition. Of course, you can always use app.roll20 in a tabletop session too, if everybody brings laptops, just for example. So that's uh, 3D Dice inside of app.roll20. If you want to see more app.roll20 tutorials, uh, just let me know in a comment down below. Aside from that, I've been Chris for Chris's Tutorials. If you want to um, leave a Patreon uh, pledge, you can go to patreon.com slash christutorials and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching.